All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to RoboQuest. Uh, it's in alpha means bugs. Got it. Uh, so I don't know when this is. This is actually too loud for me. We just went from a very lo-fi game to uh, full doom, but it is what it is. Uh, so if you've seen Gunfire Reborn, I think this is going to be pretty familiar to you, probably. That was cute. Try to fix you up. I have some spare parts. Maybe it could work. Mission save humanity. Well. Desert. Nice to see you're finally awake, Guardian. Let me fix that up for you, okay? Join Max. Hello. Oh, gosh. Those textures. All right. All good now. I'm Max. Ni nice to meet you, big guy. I was going to... Wait, the door's opening. Melee attack. Whoops. Okay. What was that thing? Quick, grab this while you can. Rip handgun. Oh wow, this is very gunfire. Wait. It's got like the same UI. You gotta explore the area, but with these tin cans around, I could use your help. Why? I'm really confused. Like the reload and the click icons are identical. Same thing with like the tab and some other stuff. Like I've absolutely seen this UI before. Who's made this game? Rise Up Studios. I've never played any of their other games before. It looks like they only started putting out games this year, so... Hell if I know. Alright, whatever. Be careful, I got no data on that place. So, texture's definitely a little muddy. I appreciate the fact that there's a double jump. Almost immediately, that is huge. Okay, rocket it says. Guess you'll need this later. Alright, I've got a rocket. Well. Okay, more of them. I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's very much got the same, like, general look and fear feel as Gunfire Reborn. But the double jump is going to make such a huge difference in terms of game feel that if they can get everything else to match, I will be happy. It looks like we've got five different stats to tech up, so that might be kind of interesting. Will they be guarding this weird thing? This weird thing? Enter the weird building. Hello. Alright. So, reward. Let's try that. Assault SMG, bullets crit, got it. And, one assault, one ability. So, assault damage, precision damage, demolition, tech, rocket, health. Got it. Well, if this doesn't have a massive meta progression system, I will be a happy camper. Let's see, kind of reminds you of Mother Gunship. Yeah, kind of. I can see that. It's, chances are it's probably made in Unreal. Let's see. Ah, the enemies are spawning behind me. I don't like that. At least it gives me little warnings, symbols and uh, stuff saying like, hey, there's an enemy over here. Okay. I appreciate that. EV station. Pro I have approached it. Alright, so what does this do? I assume it just heals me up? Or, no, that's it. All set up. It's about another hidden entrance further east. You can check it out together if you still want to help me. Tell me when you're ready. So what else do we got here? Nothing I can work with. This game does have two-player co-op. I know about that. Oh, there's a meta progression system. Craft upgrades related to the base camp here. Upgrades to weapons. Upgrades to cores. Craft upgrades related, related to artifacts. Got it. Well, I can't do any of the sorts. So let's just go. Let's get started. Let's see how it goes. Looks like there's infinite ammo. You still have to reload, but that's it. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of ignore her dialogue. Uh, went the wrong direction. Can you shoot Max? Why would you, you monster? I'll have to see if this is a totally new studio or if it's just a reformation of a pre-existing studio. Because, honestly, this ain't bad. 
uh, controls pretty well. I am seriously in love with the movement system. It feels very solid. The visuals definitely could be tightened up a little bit. Run level 5, maybe? Uh, gosh, that's a reference I'm gonna bet a lot of people don't get anymore. Ow. Definitely feeling the pain of not having a decent weapon. I probably should have gone for this little fly drone first. But if it's any indication I can't hit things for beans, eh, I'm doing okay. For you. Oh. Turret. Ow. Why would I just stand there? Looks like there's actually a fair bit of exploration to be done here, which is interesting. Oh, I leveled up, so I get a perk? Okay, explosions have a small chance to crit or hitting a target. Now, we're going explo explosion radius. How do I... Ah, that's how I do the rocket. I... Okay, so you can hop on the rails. It's not worth it. Okay, so we do we do have a Q ability that I can just fire out a rocket shot. Does decent decent chunk of damage too. Alright. There we go, got it. Alright, refill ammo. Let's see, so precision tech. Ah. Shock sniper or shotgun. Alright, so neither of these really help me too much. Okay. So the sniper rifle uses both of these, the shotgun uses neither, so I guess I'll grab that core. Oh. I guess I could just have both. Alright, cool. What is this? Hi? Ah! That just gets me back to the beginning. Cool. And yeah, you can ride the rail. I. I'm liking that. This is cool. Doesn't look like there's anything of any immediate value up here, but that's it's okay. Oh. Restore 50% health. I'll grab it. Path is split. What is this? Retrieve? Blueprint unlock. Backpack. What is this? What does this mean? I don't know. Nothing is happening, so I clearly need something to get into that one. Under construction, so I guess we only have one path. I, I guess we're just going to no-scope things for a while. I think sniping wouldn't be so bad. Well, actually, sniping ain't terrible. Most of the enemies don't just immediately rush you. Instead, they kind of choose to just sit where they are. Oh, downside. I don't get resources. So there's a very distinct reason why you want to be up close, or at least have one of the players be up close. Because otherwise, whatever the blue bits are... Oh, it's EXP! just disappears on you. That sucks. Let's see, can this be played multiplayer? Is it still a no? It, it can be played multiplayer uh, by two people. Okay, a little bomb bot. Yeah, they actually sent me a second key. Uh, so I don't, I don't entirely know how I'm going to handle multiplayer if I do. Whoops, that didn't work. I was trying to hit these guys. There we go. Looks like you stun the enemy you're shooting at. Kind of nice. Probably if you hit them in the eye. That would make sense. And since... Whoop. Since this shotgun kind of hits everything, go figure it's going to hit them in the eye. Okay. Still at least one more of you guys. Two more. 
Just to stay away from the boom boys. And then we're good to go. Okay. Oh! So, interesting fact about the sniper. It's probably not worth it compared to what I, I'm doing, but... Okay, Weapon Mastery, Health, or Ability. Go Weapon Mastery. Uh, let's see. It has an overheat. But you can charge it up as well. Okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about this. Hey, thank you, Dane Lott Lawton, for the raid, and welcome. How you doing? Welcome to uh, I'm totally blanking on the name. RoboQuest, there we go. A little generic, but plays like Gunfire Reborn if you've heard of that one. Okay. Restore health, check gun. Flare gun. Sure. Don't really feel like doing the precision sniper anyway. I'm not much of a snipe boy. But I am a boom boy. Ow. Oh, I see. What triggered that? I have no idea. Or is, is it... Oh, it's this guy that did the stun. I get it. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Did I lose anything else? Nope. Let's see. I know there's something about marking enemies as well. Oh, the rocket home's in. I appreciate. I appreciate that. That makes a difference. Definitely have to watch my damage a little. I'm doing an okay job at avoiding hits. But yeah, this this ain't Gunfire Reborn. I don't have a shield to keep me going, and I don't have any current regen. That's not so bad. That's you and Madi have been playing Gunfire lately. You know, I played that with uh, Rito and Alexa. Ah, right into that one. It, it's fun. I just hated the meta progression in it. It, it, it was one of those where it's like, it's real enjoyable playing the game. Uh, let's see. Oh no, I can't hit him. Cool. Probably. Hey, you can actually check the map. I like that. It was real enjoyable, but it was one of those where it's like, you had to grind to really get ahead. And that sort of thing is kind of killer for me. Whoops. Because I like games that can be beaten in one to like three runs. And something that's like, hey, you have to grind to even have a good chance of beating the end. It's like, ah, that sucks. I can't do it. Gunplay and, like, gameplay is super good, though, so it's kind of one of those where it's, like, I hate to hate it because I want to love it. I'm really digging this. Like, absolutely desperately need, need some changes, I think. But I think a lot of that just has to go with the fact that this is an alpha. Mainly, already seeing very minimal enemy variety. Eh, no, we're definitely running into some more here now that we're in the Oasis. Okay. There we go. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm speaking too soon. I'm definitely rolling. Oh, I got HP back somehow. Whoops. So I guess there must be health that you pick up somewhere. 
Whoops. And this this jerk knows where I'm going. Which I don't appreciate. Alright. Lock and loaded. Increase your mag reload speed by 15%. Reloading increases your weapon damage by 10. Fire rate. Okay. Or two rocket charges. Collecting ammo reloads 25% of your ability. Hmm. Let's go rockets. Let's actually... Let's, it's boom time. Yeah, so it looks like enemies are dropping more than just EXP. Alright, here we go. I don't know what that was, but I got it. Uh, let's see. So, longbow, sawed-off shotgun. Bullet, mag reload. Oh, two of these. Okay, I gotta go for that. Do we want to do the longbow instead? No. The bounce is tempting, but the flare gun's kind of nice. Assault and precision, or assault and tech? Kind of neither. Uh, alternatively, let's go assault and precision and actually try the longbow, just because we're here. Refill ammo. I, the bow might just have infinite ammo. Okay, we're good. Yeah, let's try new things. Buff. There we go. That works. Let's see. Nope. Did it go over to the right? I don't think I have. Okay. Who's better than I give it credit for? But I feel like this sawed off is just going to be more my thing. Get up in there. Get him good. Okay. Pur purple is bullets. Uh, it looks like my... Okay. Looks like rocket cooldowns get kind of stuck. Whoops. Okay, not taking too much damage. Taking an amount. There we go. I like the sawed off pistols, they feel good. They feel really good. Got it. All right. Got him. Gotta just be kind of careful here. There we go. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's any mantling. Which is a bit tragic. I like I like mantling in games. Makes it easy to get around. Ow. Oh, there's health. Okay. So it does drop. Not terribly frequently, but it does drop. Enemies are getting hairy. Okay, how are we doing? So the little guys have... Uh, the little guys have the shotguns that keep I keep running afoul of. And yeah, it doesn't... It, I keep picking up ammo, but it doesn't feel like we're limited by it. Okay, so whatever green is... It's probably another upgrade room, or it's something. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Is use the bow while I clear distance. I guess I'm just using the bow. Okay. Hmm. Ah, 
How did I get up here? Okay, here we go. I... I sincerely doubt I'm going to be able to climb this. There's got to be so... Oh. Hidden Sanctuary. All right. We get a grenade launcher. I'll grab it. The bow is kind of fun, but it's just not really doing tricks for me. Oh. Okay. So I got a lot of precision. So I only have three cores that I can equip. I'm not really using tech. Get ammo. Get an armor up. Retrieve a spare head. Anything else? I was really hoping there'd be actual health in here. Oh, well. You always got to check the waterfall. All right, let's try grenade launcher. So, I want to go this way. Looks like this is the way out of here. All right, digging the grenade launcher. That doesn't actually do that much more damage. Uh, probably major sign as a result of a... Hey, you came at a good time. Let's see, blast ball. That's just... It's too fun. All right, assault and def demolition. So this gives me a little bit more demolition, decent amount of assault. Yeah, so these bound. Yeah, I gotta. Ooh. That's fun. I gotta. I gotta check some of these weapons for an alt fire. See if any of them actually have. Alt fire is worth using. I'm sure a ton of them do. Okay, that should give me all of the EXP. There we go. I like the upgrade system. It's nice and varied. Okay, there we go. Messing them up. There are enemies still shooting at me. So what do we get? Uh, let's see. Polished core, plus two ability. Armor up, weapon mastery. Let's keep going weapon mastery. I don't actually know... ...how useful that is. Okay, no boss enemies yet. Yeah, it seems like this weapon specifically is going to be a lot better in close quarters. As it stands, it's a little limited. Outdoors. Alright, so we could get a mine gun. Nah, grenade launcher is better. Heal up. And see, demolition or ability. Yeah. Alright. Boss fight? Boss fight. There we go. Diggy Mole. Fair enough. I just gotta... I just gotta keep bunny hopping. Ow. Okay. He does hurt pretty bad. I've got a decent chunk of HP, though. Okay, downside to this gun. Overheats real fast. About the same time as a reload speed, though. I think the shotguns were better. Ooh. Okay, 
no iframes do not take all of those hits at once. It was bad. Got it. That was a fun death. Hey, and we won. Definitely slow, but I got all the cells. <laughs> Did I pull an eyeball out? Hey, what do you have there? Okay, it's not quite an eyeball. Huh. Let's see. Ah, you're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, human maggot. Human maggot, seriously. Just a couple more seconds. Ah, yeah, here we go. A map. Oh, we have to check it out. Whoa. That's one big door. Uh, open sesame? No way it actually worked. I always wanted to say that. Come on, let's go. I got to see what's in the, what's in there. Oh, so we're not done yet. So this is what the voice didn't want us to find. But where are the tin cans? Or where are the tin cans even doing here? And who built this place? We got to figure this out. It's supposed to be like grass. Damn, this place is actually pretty cool looking. Now, I still have all of my stuff, so I guess the run ain't over. Assault pistol. Yeah, sure. Attacking ability. I'm not using either of those. Well, onwards. Okay. Pistol does decent chunk of damage, very accurate. Bit unforgiving if you miss, though. There we go. Luckily, I've got some rockets and some other things. Okay, there we go. Choose a perk. I will choose a perk when I dang well please. You're a problem. That hurt. So note to self, don't just charge the chain gun. You can't strafe around it. What the heck are you? Oh, it's a bounce pad. That's fun. All right, size matters. Mag size and cool engage by 50%. Increase the limited ammo by 50%. Or, uh, yeah, let's go size matters. Unless I have to reload the better. Whoops. There's a snipey boy back there. Did he blow up? Unfortunately, it seems like these guys got a little on the tough side. Is what it is. I don't know if that's damage fall off or I was hitting them in a protected spot. I don't know. All right. There we go. There goes Robo Rolly. Whoops. Ow. Boy, that's bad. Got him. Okay, avoided him. Got it. Alright. Messed him up a bunch. Yeah, getting near that Gatling gun is going to be tough. Almost universally. I'd save my rocket for it, but the rocket will just home in on the nearest target. So I almost just have to snipe it out and go from there. 
We're doing okay. We're doing decidedly okay. So where does this take me? Uh, we want to go the other other direction, at least for a little bit. Because that's where the upgrade is. And therefore, that's where I want to go. Okay. Totally stepped on the landmine there. I love the rails. That's super cool. They're probably going to get me hit more than I'd like. Oh, well, I got HP. And then got messed up. Alright, whatever. It's fine. This run, run has gone far longer than I thought it was going to. Okay. There we go. All right, precision technology. Let's go with that. There, there is a long rifle. There's also a blast rifle. Blast rifle might not be a bad, bad move. Let's see. Now here's the question. Let's lose the demolition. Let's get a sniper rifle up in here too. We've got a lot of precision going on. No healing though, which is a bit of a tragedy. Okay, and the lasers are off. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I can I'm gonna see if I can snipe the the chain guns. Let's see, it seems like Borderlands. It's, it's definitely trying to evoke Borderlands in terms of its base gameplay and so on and so forth. Nope. Oh, no key. Oh. No key means no health. Or maybe we have to come back for the key. Okay, there we go. So, sniper rifle might not actually be a terrible idea. Actually works pretty well. It works better than the blast rifle. Okay. Wish that thing took a little bit m longer to spin up than it does. I'm not actually sure what hit me. Okay, got that. I'm a little lost for words, because this got hard. Alright. We're doing fine, though. Shockingly. I mean, sort of. I'm getting my HP back. I'm clawing it back. Okay. Don't have too much of a choice here. so that that disappears way too quick. Way too quickly for me to feasib feasibly retrieve. Okay, that does some damage. Whew. There we go. How many of these guys are there? Wait, holy shit, did they... Did they ambush me? They might have. Okay. Oh no, it's it's not an ambush. They're respawning. Got it. 
sniper actually works really well no scope i i appreciate that it has such an accurate little dot there all right uh let's see i'm gonna go armor up we need hp Okay, get rid of you. Keep sniping that. Get him good. Ow. Alright, we're fine. We're at, we are actually crawling our way back HP-wise. Travel energy center. Well, I don't have the key and it doesn't look like there's anything else. So yeah, I'm going in here. Whew. Love games that have sniper rifles that can actually hip fire with normal accuracy versus the whole screen reticle. Yup, I'm in full agreement. Okay, assault and ability. I'm not really using assault here. That's really good though. All right, two sniper rifles. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Anything else you can do? Nope. I said I didn't want to snipe, and yet here we are. I think hip fire is just better. S sniping with an actual scope, probably better if I'm playing multiplayer or trying to hit a very precise target from afar. Uh, let's see. Movement takes some seriously uh, serious getting used to. Okay, so here's a sniper rifle that cannot hit fire. Sort of. It doesn't have its own reticle. However, I know where the center of the screen is, so I'm just gonna... I'll just make it work. Okay. There we go. Give me that sweet EXP. And stay the heck away from me. I am very killable. And I don't appreciate being bullied. There we go. Gosh, that does damage when it wants to. Whoa, hi, too many bullets. That's some nice stuff. Okay, we're getting our HP back. I say as I immediately just face first into enemy shot. You know, I was expecting with Blast Rifle, I was expecting it to have an AoE. It doesn't. It very much is just a very high high powered rifle. And you know what? Can't complain. Alright, we get doing good? We're doing good. Alright. This business again. Oh hey. Beat Saber. Not actually. Just feels like it. Alright, precision technology? Heck yeah. Alright, heavy sniper. You know what, actually, this might just be better. Let's see, so this uses either tech or demolition. Heavy sniper, long rifle. No. I like this better. Long rifle is pretty good. But having a turret that I can just dump down sounds real helpful. 
I don't know if it's actually going to def uh I Okay, this was the right decision. Not only is it, like, just a decent gun... It's just great! I love it! Uh, well... Okay, so that has limited ammo. Assault shotgun? Nah. Uh, let's see, precision demolition. I'll do. Alright. It is a right proper distraction. And that's everything I needed it to be and more. Please give me this HP. I've totally... Ah, that's how I melee. It doesn't really strike me that melee is worth it. Let's see. The nice part is there's no reticle, but that doesn't mean that I'm inaccurate with this thing. All right. Falling for at least four seconds generates an explosion. No, melee to generate a force field. Oh. That's how that works. That's a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to be. That's incredible, in fact. It's a little hard to see through, but yeah, I can shoot through it. I'm I'm now Reinhardt. Yeah, I, uh, let's see. Did I did I actually go into the treasure room? Yes, I I 100% went into the treasure room. Okay. Got it. There we go. This is great. I am I'm having a lot of trouble. Just because the enemies are very woogly, but like it is not so bad. All right. Grab everything. This blast rifle is kicking ass. And I get enough special ammo that I can probably just free drop my turrets a lot more often than I have been. Let's see. And they will 100% distract everything that I'm dealing with. Is that... Okay. Turret went down. It's not a problem. It did its job. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like you get plenty of turrets, so just whenever I enter a room... Dump a turret down. Do some... do some damage. 
All right, so far so good. Let's see. I think we're good. I don't see anything else. Open, we get HP back. We get a jetpack upgrade. Demolition and technology. Oh, we don't actually want that. Oh, this is so tempting. I like the assault sentry though. So I'm gonna keep with it. Is there a catter coaster? Oh boy. Okay, let's just go HP. Oh! Yeah, floor is also lava. Didn't know that. It's fine. Because I think we've got this. Yep, it did. That was a little hectic. Floor being lava makes everything harder, but oh well. That's the strongest signal comes from this spot. Oh. They face challenging problems. We need a plan. They were desperate and I created a I was created to help them. Together we built havens, autonomous cities where all their needs were satisfied. Humans are under my protection now. Brains. Humans, pitiful worms, chase them out, out, out. <laughs> to be continued. Difficulty unlocked, here's plus two. All right. So, we can, we can upgrade stuff, maybe. Start the core, uh, run with a random core. Start the run with choice between a couple weapons. New upgrades to craft, new perks. Choose between three perks instead of two when leveling up. That seems worth it. Craft artifacts you find the blueprints of. And carry an additional weapon. And the jetpack. Guild. Okay, those are really good. Okay, so I just can't get the lab. One way or another, solid. So, select loadout. So, you can also... Oh! So, there's Guardian and there's Recon. Mark. Mark's here, focus target, and up to two nearby targets. Crit, and we also have a dagger. Cool. Here, easy. Standard. Heroes, heroes plus two. So, there's extra difficulty levels. Not something I'm terribly interested in. Okay. So activate the jetpack by holding the jump button in midair or carry an additional weapon. I like this meta system. It's not that it increases my damage, it just gives me a lot more starting perks. I guess it did increase my, my stats by two points, but that's it. And that's really all I need. Anything more than that's going to be a problem. I like the jetpack for the mobility. I'm probably going to get shot when using it, but still. This is solid. This, honestly, is everything I wanted Gunfire Reborn to be. And I really like it. I'd love to see more perks and interesting things that change how you play. But the different weapons and the weapon variety that I had access to was so solid. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Let's see if I can get anywhere silly with the jetpack. The answer is nope. Doesn't look like I can get out of it. Get out of here. Sometimes there's like a Hugbot refuge or something hiding around. And it's got co-op, so if I ever feel like playing with another person, I might just do so. Cactus. I'm gonna hide up here. Thank you. Boom. Oh no, I can't blow up the cactus. Well, anyway, this game is still in alpha. I don't really know when it's going to be available. Uh, it's probably not going to be available for quite some time. But initial impressions are 
entirely positive. I really like this and I can't wait, wait to play more. But for now at least, I'm probably going to throw it on the back burner just because I don't want to overplay games while they're still in an early and rough state. And I'd rather come back later when this is in early access or done. So, I guess until then, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more random mini games, I have so many of them to play. Every day, tons of new ones too. So, with that, thanks for watching. And as always, uh, wait, I did that wrong. See you next time, and as always, thanks for watching. I got it. I was too distracted. I was looking at this low-res cactus, and I'm like, I hope they fix the resolution on this cactus. Why is this a... I don't know. Anyway, I can brain. <laughs>